Welcome back. When children and teachers head back to school, dogs can have separation anxiety, boredom, and behaviors that we just don't want them to have. So showing us on what to do for our furry family members as they head back to school <laughs> so. is uh, Barkbusters. They're here to tell us what to do. And let's introduce, I, you know, he was just so excited to be on camera. Absolutely. Uh, Kylo, eight months old. Yes. And um, he is somebody's family member. That's correct. Um, and he is a Vishla. Vishla. A Vishla. Yes. Yeah. And he's only eight months old, so he's getting used to everything and everyone. But this is going to be a new experience for him when the kids go oh, back to school. Right. Right. Okay. Right. And there's two children in the household. Oh, okay. okay. So what do you do? What should Kylo be aware of, or how do you get Kylo ready? That's a good question. So to, have, to get Kylo ready, you really want to start a few weeks before school. The change happens. Dogs don't really like change. They like things to always be the same. So you have to start changing things up a little bit. So, for example, if you're used to taking the, your, your Kylo, used to taking Kylo on it's errands. Right. No worries. <laughs> then, Kylo, come here. Come here, Kylo. If you're used to taking Kylo on, on, on errands with you, you may want to leave him home. Um, right. If you spend a tremendous amount of time playing with Kylo all day, you want to try to stop playing with him a little bit less each day so he gets used to having to entertain himself and not getting attention all the time. Ah. So, because you don't want it to all of a sudden happen, you know, right the first day of school, all of a sudden they're gone, everybody's gone in the house. So, you want to make these changes gradually for him. Um, and he's not going to be getting, he might not be getting as much exercise, right? Because right. there's going to be less people There'll around. There'll be less house. people. So when you are home, you're going to exercise him. Okay. Okay. But the other things that's important is if he is used to having people home <laughs> or around a lot, you want to start to have some, go bless you, have some separation. <laughs> all right. So maybe you go out for a few minutes and then come back in the house. Um, if you can find him, uh, if you use a crate, and there's nothing wrong with using a crate, if you use a crate, start putting him back in the crate so he gets used to it. Don't wait till the day of school right. and then start putting him in the right. crate and expect him right. to adjust. Right. And that's right. just like kids. I know that you know a lot of doctors will recommend maybe start waking up the kids earlier to get right. them used to the right. new schedule. We'll see with our pets. Right. right. What did you bring here? What, what well, are these? sometimes dogs get bored. Sure. So when they get bored, you want to have them opportunities to play with different types of toys that are non-destructible, hard. Um, that they're going to entertain them. So we have the game changer, we have um, Kongs. the Kongs, the wobblers, but these are things you can put something inside so they can oh, chew on so them. It takes and them a while to get to it. Right. And it gives them, and it gives them to some do entertainment. No right. Keeps and if you don't have these types of toys in the house, you can also do something like taking their little bit of their kibble, and if it's outside or if there's a, a sure. large room you leave them in, just put it around the floor so they have to look for it oh, and find like it. Like an Easter egg hunt. Right. Yeah, exactly like hide right. and seek type of thing. I with like their that things. idea. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. What about leaving the TV on? A lot of I know a lot of uh, pet parents will leave the television on. Well, if you're going to leave the TV on again, you don't want to do it just when you leave the house. You want to leave the TV on for a week or two before they go back to school, so they don't associate the TVs on. Uh oh, everybody's leaving the house. Uh, you got to be very careful that our dogs don't make these associations, and that's why we suggest also, you know, that if you are leaving the house, you change up the amount of time you leave them for. So you go out for two minutes, you go out for ten minutes, you go out for five minutes so they never know how long you're leaving and that right. prevents them from having the anxiety. Ah, Kylo, um, do you like listening to the TV? <laughs> do you like the TV? Yeah. yeah. And if you don't have, if you can't use a crate and you're concerned about them being destructive, another suggestion would be that you can put them in a smaller room when you can put up a gate. Some people put their dogs like in a, in a bathroom and they'll put a, a gate up so that the dog's area is somewhat confined. They don't have to worry about them chewing on furniture. They won't go to the bathroom usually where they where they sleep so that right. you give them a smaller area if you if they aren't comfortable in a crate. So there's other options that you can do to try to confine their space <laughs> so that you don't have to to worry. And and the other other important thing is what children should do when they go to work and when they go to school, home. excuse me, when they come home from school. Dogs get very, very excited when people come in the house or when people leave. So when people leave the house, they want to just walk out and leave the house. That means the children shouldn't say goodbye, be a good boy in a high pitch because that will increase his anxiety. And when they come home, they should try to ignore Kylo till, or, or their dogs till they settle and they're relaxed and then give them as much attention as they want so that the dogs tend to relax quicker, won't jump on the children, knock them down and things like that over the excitement of them coming home Sure, good advice. Thank you so much for coming on. Kylo, thank you. You were very well behaved. I know it's tough morning. for you. You're only eight months old, but we appreciate you stopping by Good Morning Connecticut this morning. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, and for more information, just head to our website, wteenage.com.
Just click on that honor tab and pull it down to the Good Morning Connecticut Weekend section.